Hi everyone, Melissa here from Melissa Made, and today I'm going to be talking about grounding objects or images with your Copics. You can find my blog at melissamade2.blogspot.com and I also will have um, this posted on Created from Color on how to actually color the metallic robot. But first I'm going to be taking um, this Tiddly Inks image uh, from the Robot Holidays and I'm going to be starting to ground him with my BV23 Copic marker. And the sunlight is coming a little bit from the left of the image. Uh, that's what I'm imagining anyhow as I color the ground. So his shadow will be stretched out in front of him to the right as if the sun is somewhat behind him. And um, I kind of go back and forth a little bit when I'm grounding the image because I can't really decide if I want the whole ground colored or not. But to start with, I'm just adding in some colors right under his feet. Now I'm going in with a BB25 and just under his feet kind of spreading out the color. Then I'm going to go in with a BD, BV29 and add some darker shadows right underneath his feet. I go back in with my BV23 and shade out this color a little bit, blending them nicely so it's not so harsh. Although you could leave them a little bit harder lines if you like that look. You can see here I start to extend that, that line just a little bit. Now, you could leave it like this if you don't care about having a real solid ground. But I kind of decide that I'm going to take in my colorless blender and soften up the edges a little bit and smooth those colors a little bit more together. The colorless blender kind of moves the color around, but it also fades it out and pushes it um, around. So that's kind of what I do in this. Then I decide I'm going to extend the road just a little bit that he's standing on, and I take the BB23 and add a bit more color here. And you'll see I keep playing with it until I get it the way I want it. I go back in with the BV25 and add a little bit more shading to his feet. And give it give the appearance of a shadow from his body. And then I go in with the BV29 and kind of add darker shadows. You know, closer to his body, the sunlight's going to be blocked more, so there's going to be a darker shadow close to his feet. And I'm going in with my BV23 again and kind of fading out those colors and blending them a little bit. Now you can see there's a, there's a little bit of an appearance of his shadow on the ground. Um, this again is BB23 and I'm just kind of pulling up the road a little bit so that it looks like, you know, it has a little bit of dimension. It's just not like he's floating on the road. <clears throat> but again, I go back and fix it. And I do this often when I color. I'll color in an image and then I go back and you know, take a step back and look at it and come back to it. And now I'm taking my BV20 and um, shading in some, some of that too. I pulled that color in kind of at the end. And here's a little bit more of my BV20. It almost has a, a blue appearance you can see there. Once it dries though, it's pretty much the same color. Um, as the BB23, 25, and 29, only in a lighter hue. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the sky, and I start with a B uh, quadruple zero here, and just really lose um, color, color some sky around the robot, trying not to get into the gray portions of the robot. I just use a loose circular motion. I'm not really concerned about coating everything entirely. I'm just trying to ground my image. I'm trying to make it look like he's not floating out in space somewhere. Now that I'm finished with the B quadruple zero, I'm going to go ahead and get my B triple zero. I'm going to add some more color along the right side of his body because I'm still thinking to myself the sun's coming from the back kind of left side of him. So this side will be a little bit darker. I think that's enough. Then I like to go back in with uh, my B quadruple zero and kind of go over those edges so there's nothing really harsh there. Add a little bit more color to the outside edges. Again, really loose. 
coloring here. I'm not trying to make it look perfect. It's just trying. It's it's just a way to make the image look like you know he's grounded and he's not floating. And then I'm going to take my colorless blender actually and go around the edges again just to kind of make that scene between the lightest color, the B uh, quadruple zero, and the colorless blender a little less noticeable so it's not so harsh for the transition. <laughs> and then this is when I decide I don't like how my road looks like it's stopping short so I go back in with my BB25 here and add a little bit more shadow to his feet extending them down a little bit and trying to get closer to the underside of his feet. And now I'm going to take my BB20 and add a little bit more of the road all the way to the edge of the paper. Kind of cleaning up those spaces that are empty there. And I'm just touching up a little bit of the sky that I felt like I should get a little bit closer to that road. And I'm pretty much done coloring and grounding the image. And I go in just with a white Sakura jelly roll and add, or gel roll pen, a white one, and add some highlights to his eyes and a little highlight to the heart as well to finish the image. Again, you can find this cute little robot under Tidlinks or at tidlinks.com. Under the holidays section, they are the holidays robot package, and you'll get this one and a few others as well. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Head over to Created From Color and check out how to color the metallics. And I show you actually how I get the robot to look metal.